This is a question for Armin. So you did a stream on Hinduism being the most violent religion a few days ago, and you received a lot of criticism for this. So this person is asking for the video you did on Hinduism, what is the view on the criticism that you received? The criticism has been moronic so far. I was expecting better. <laughs> I, was, well, I mean, I wasn't expecting actually. I was hoping for a better because the question, like, it's so interesting because half of the, like, well, not half, a lot of the criticism is like, obviously that it, it's so obvious that they didn't even watch the video right because a lot some of the things that they're saying i actually addressed it during the video uh but the vast majority of them is like you just wouldn't get it bro that's it this is this is the criticism hindus have for like you look at the you look at the gita and you're like you read it and like well this is horrific this is violent this is excusing mass mac you know massacre of people with no hesitation and the the comeback by a lot of hindu apologists is like you just don't get it like okay you just don't understand yeah all right well the, the fact that this is what you have to me is partly indication is that you probably don't have anything <laughs> right like you don't have any valid criticism like you know you don't have any points like you are you're so pathetic in defending your scripture that you haven't yet moved past um just shouting that you just don't understand and actually you, you haven't moved to the point where you could actually start making an argument for why somebody's wrong um if you're if you're like the, the people that have like one brain cell they they just say you don't you know you don't you just don't get it but the ones that have like a one and a half brain cell they have moved they have graduated to, the, to only to the point where they say oh you're not a scholar right so they're catching up on the whole um muslim method of uh picking up the way you know picking the following the muslim path and trying to make excuses for the quran um i think the next step is more of them saying you're taking it out of context like i think at some point they will get to that uh but they're so far behind like the muslims have moved a lot much further in in the apologetics like the hindus have not I, caught up yet i have a little bit of a disagreement with you there like there is a great history in india of particularly rationalist thinkers actively criticizing hinduism even iconoclast iconoclasm fuck i can't mm -hmm. say that right you know so it's not like the criticism of Hinduism is brand new. There's actually like a civilizational history of this. Are you just yeah. talking about a more formal style of apologism and apologetics? Yes, okay. yes. yes. Uh, what you're referring to is the effects that like, no, it's not like scriptural criticism, right? It's mostly like the results be bad. <laughs> like people like looking at the cast, the situation of women or the situation of caste or the people being overly superstitious and looking at it are like, yeah, we don't like looking at society and not liking the results. And we're like, we need to maybe act differently, right? Especially, especially the, the main attacks on Hinduism internally by, by people, by Indians themselves has been a, more, a lot focused on, on the caste system and, and rightfully so. But I, I'm just saying, like, I, and I'm sure there is other people that have done this, but I, I, I don't think like scriptural criticism, like regardless of their results on on the people, hasn't been there yet. Or people are like, actually picking up the Gita and like, well, I have a problem with this scripture because of this and this. Again, I'm, I haven't seen. I, I, I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. Obviously, it exists. Like some of our own community has done that, right? And Harris Sultan has done that, right? um but i'm saying like it's just not at the same level like it hasn't even started like the amount of criticism that the bible and the quran have gone through like relative to that it's it's again it's not, i'm not saying it's non-existent but relatively it's very it's close to non-existent relative to the criticism that the scripture of the quran and the bible has have gotten yeah it's it's interesting um i think we're also biased by the fact that we look at what's available in english to us so i'm actually aware of some like smaller channels that do this kind of thing but they're in hindi so there's a barrier there 
Um, Katie is also raising a good point. So many people in India can't differentiate between being a Hindu and being Indian. I mean, mm -hmm. historically, we should acknowledge the fact that Hindu just meant you're from below the Indus River, right? Like it didn't even originally refer to what? a religion. Yeah, it, it referred to well, a Hen people. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Hindu as a religion is a foreign concept, anyways. But that doesn't. Mm -hmm. mean, by the way, for, for the people who say like Hinduism is like a a con as a word that is defined outside of India, yeah. So we're still going to use it. Like you, you know, India is India doesn't have a monopoly on how words are defined, right? So, so what? Like it was defined. So I was, it was this. It was defined outside of India by non-Indians. Yeah, and the, no, I mean people word. are raising a good a point that especially when those words are defined by a colonizer influence, that is going to it there it, it it fails to capture the expansiveness of it sometimes. It doesn't fail to. In fact, it was this. It, it you. It's such a broad term because it's very expensive. You know what I mean? Like it's supposed to be an umbrella term for so many different things. People are like, oh, this is just an umbrella term for so many different things. Like, yeah, I know. That's why we're using it because we need an umbrella term for so many different things that was came out of this area. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.